everybody and welcome to my review of the Full Moon Toys Castle Freak. This monster comes from the 1995 movie of the same name, Castle Freak. And this is how the figure looks inside the box, clearly visible in a rather huge box and on the back some of the other figures available and I have previously reviewed Radu from subspecies. But here we have the Castle Freak outside the box and I don't really recall him to look like this in the movie but go watch yourself, it's actually a quite good horror movie. For accessories we get this base with a back wall and chains attached. These chains are made of hard plastic and but they look pretty good and they can also be put on the figure. On the base itself here we have three packs on the stone type floor. Then we get a whip here, a very important accessory used in the movie. Also some pretty good details. And finally we get a bloody half-eaten cat. Again, a very movie accurate accessory. On the back of the cat there is a peck hole so you can peck the dead cat to the base. The Castle Freak himself is sculpted very bloody and hideous and features real and very long black hair. Then on the back here, gross details of a body whipped several times. There is a piece of cloth here that is actually removable if you would like to do that. I think I'll keep it on here. Down his legs, a lot of scratch marks, injuries, dirt. Look at these feet. And also the other one here, blood and mud mixed together. It's really a hideous creature. One hand is sculpted to hold the whip and the other one here is an open hand missing thumb. Again, go watch the movie and you'll find out why. So it's possible to chain the Castle Freak to the wall here with both chains. Just wrap them around his wrists and you can close them so it looks like he's not able to free himself from his dungeon prison. That's it. So, for articulation, this figure suffers from the same limitations as Radu from Full Moon Toys. No real head movement, arms go all the way around and they bend a little bit at the elbow here, but they do not turn or anything. Hands turn around, but you can't move them up and down. And the same goes for the other arm and hand. And the legs here, they only wiggle a little, no real movement and nothing at the feet. You can pick the Castle Freak to the base, but he stands quite good on his own as well, so no problems getting this figure to stand. And finally, a size comparison, it's a very huge figure here compared to Radu, which was also very tall, here a regular sized 7 inch figure, and compared to 6 inch figures, the Castle Freak is absolutely huge. So for now, I'll leave you with my opinion about the Castle Freak. I think the Castle Freak is a fun and bloody looking figure, not real accurate to the movie but still a great horror figure to have. If you like the Silent Screamers figures or other figures from Full Moon Toys, you know what you get when you decide 
or if you decide to get the Castle Freak. No real articulation, but gross details and bloody accessories. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.